Growing up in cold, miserable Chicago, I never dreamed that I'd be living in sunny California, making a living as a writer. After majoring in economics at the University of Illinois, I was hired by Western Union. After one summer of boredom, I quit. I packed up my wife and baby son and hit the road to California with only a few hundred dollars to my name. <laughs> I'd been a sports writer in college and with the, with the confidence of youth that I, I felt that I could make it as a newspaper reporter. We drove down the coast and I knocked on doors looking for work. After a short stint as editor of the weekly San Clemente Sun Post, I wrote to the Santa Barbara News Press, a daily, and by luck they had an opening. Even though I had absolutely no experience covering police and courts, that's where they assigned me. My office was right up there by the balcony, and I used to step out and survey all of Santa Barbara. This is my new home here at the Santa Barbara Independent Newspaper. It's a great paper and I'm very proud of it. Well, when I started in the newsroom at the Santa Barbara News Press, I'd walk in on deadline time and it'd be a huge roar, people running around, 20, 30 typewriters pounding away in the wire room, the wire machines, the teletype machines would be clicking, clack, 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 clack. People would rush. They'd, we'd put the copy into pneumatic tubes and it would whoosh down to the basement where the linotype machines were. And over all this was a cloud of thick cigarette smoke. Well, my first assignment at the news press was to cover the police and the courts. And I'd go out every morning, go to the police station, go through their reports, then I go to the courthouse, cover trials, and that courts are the, generates the best trials, the best stories, because there's not only crime, there's bigamy. Great, uh, I had a great story of about four different young women who'd been married to the same man, and we took their picture. That was, that was a great story, I thought. And then about 30 years ago, I got my own column and I had to come up with story ideas on my own. People would call me, write letters. I'd wake up in the morning with an idea and sometimes the cupboard was bare and I'd really have to bear down to find a column item. This is where I work these days, in my home office. I have everything easily at hand. Computer, printer, cell phone, uh, and everything I need around the corner in the kitchen from coffee. When I need to send the story, I just press a button and electronically it goes off to the independent. After all these years, I still look forward to writing my next column. It's still a challenge. A lot of beginning writers just can't quite get to it. The hardest thing for them is to put their rear end into a chair and start writing. Now, I've never had writer's block because I've always had another deadline. Well, in addition to writing for newspapers, I've written three books and I've done a lot of travel writing, traveling around the world. And people ask, how, to, how, to, how could I become a writer? Well, my advice is write every day, write something, and, and read. Try to read the best writing you can find, because that's how you get a sense of what good writing is and what bad writing is.